Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Run Kingdom. So, hopefully, in this video, we can actually end this whole entire storyline with the heaven splitting lightning, and we can actually go ahead and finish what we came here for, which I don't know what that means. I'm just trying to say I want to go ahead and complete this story finally, which, hey, we were able to complete those. If you've seen the last episode, you should go ahead and check that out, even though there's a high likelihood that the last episode was most likely us doing the strawberry kick town, which might be a better thing. I don't know. But with that being said, there's only two more stories for us to watch. Where the first part, we watched stories one through four. Then the second part, we watched five and six because they were way longer than what we expected. But I don't know, that's just something on me. But now, hopefully in this video, we should be able to tackle stories seven and eight. Which seem to have something to do with uh, Dark Cacao. And uh, that's the uh, Wind Deity. And Dark Cacao with Stormbringer. So hopefully, uh, Legendary's got to meet an Ancient in this video. I don't know, but hopefully also after this, I should have enough of these so I can do another video where I go ahead and do a Legendary Gacha Pulse so I can try and get Stormbringer Cookie again. Because if there's one thing I really would love to try and get, it's another Stormbringer so I can get her up to one star promotion at least. But with that being said, before I go ahead and continue on with this, I will be reading comments from the video. Uh, Mad Madeline Cookie has a mansion? You know, from the Cookie Odyssey. And if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below, then feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, and we appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community, then that's what matters the most. Which, I'll just start this off with a few quick comments from Smart and Spyro, because they usually tend to leave a lot. One saying, oh my, amazing. Mansion? Wow, what a rich one. Yeah, I had no idea that Madeline Kiki was that rich. I knew they were like, you know, prideful, but I didn't know they were like that stacked with cash. Uh, another comment they left is, haha, I got another Frost Queen Kiki in Kiki Run Kingdom China. Wow. I wonder if there's any difference between Frost Queen Kiki in the US and Frost Queen Kiki in China. I don't know, probably not. And the last comment I'll read from you says, uh, at 1044, common question of the day, uh, Cream Unicorn Kiki's English voice actor got slay. What's, what an amazing voice. Uh, that's actually a pretty good choice. Cream Unicorn Kiki's voice actor is actually really good. I, I gotta give him all the shouts for that one. Gotta repeat res big respects to my voice actor brethren out there. That doesn't make any sense. But, you know, if you do voice acting, then, you know, keep up the good work. You all do amazing jobs. Anyway, Lightning Bolts 7. It's, it's, it's going crazy. Everything's starting to rumble. <sighs> The three deity cookies. Oh yeah, are the deity cookies coming down? I think that's what's going on from the last time that we saw this video. Or the story. What? I don't know. Oh, bless the skies! Our prayers have been heard. Everyone, if I could have your attention. Indeed. Your prayers have been heard by the sky god. So you may stop this right at once. The sky god has taken notice of that tower's evil presence. Why why do you say that like with such small text? Like, am I the only one who knows that text is a lot smaller? She will soon rain down her divine punishment upon that wicked tower. So, it'd be best to evacuate this area. Oh, by the way, this is simply the Sky God's decision, not an answer to your prayers. Oh, great. So we were, like, praying for nothing, but it was just like, eh, I know you're hoping for this. I'm just gonna do it on my own time. Now, now, everyone, enough praying. Return to your village at once. Don't we need to evacuate the village because if the tower falls, we're all gonna die? Land dweller cookies always think that praying to the sky will make all their wishes come true. Is Wind Deity specifically talking more quieter? I think that's the case. The Sky God. Where have I heard of this? In the legend of the Heaven Splitter? I, how, how, how the fuck do you even know about the story? No. It is more than a legend. Perhaps... We could make use of this power. This is our first and final warning. Please return to your village. Huh? Who are you to tell us what to do? Hold on. I wish to speak to this sky god. I, I feel like that's way easy. Like that's way easier said than done. One does not simply speak to the sky god. Yeah, for it's, it requires praying, which is talking to a brick wall. Mm-hmm. One must earn the right to even stand in her presence. Earn the right, you say. Did you did you just did you just try slashing at the deities? Your Majesty! All the rain clouds have parted, just like that. Neither rain nor wind nor clouds can bend my will. I assume this is enough proof of my right to meet the sky god. Oh. Oh. It's another one challenging the Sky God's powers! Okay, well this kind of explains, to be honest, why Dark Cacao also has electricity powers within their skill. Oh, not this again. 
Sure, the Sky God appreciates some determination in cookies. But we don't know how she'll take this. If this Sky God is truly a cookie who governs the heavens, they must be aware of the dark forces plaguing Earthbred. Legend describes the Sky God as a benevolent being who looks after those down below. A true ruler of the skies will take responsibility to protect the peace. Hmm. Take responsibility to protect the peace, huh? Noted. I shall personally deliver your message to the Sky God. But don't get your hopes up. And, and, and like Stormbreaker Cookie's just sleeping up there and she's like, uh, why'd y'all wake me up? And then they're just like, hey, uh, there's someone down here who wants to see you. And she's just like, can't you get like five more minutes of sleep? And it's like, no, it kind of has to happen now. And she's like, uh, I'm going to kill everyone down there. Oh, that's where the story ends. Well, specifically this cutscene. Why did I say the whole story? Uh, there's still one more cutscene to go, which this might be the longest one, which I'm probably going to read a few comments then a comment question of the day just in case. So the rest of this video will just be the story. So with that being said, Sonic Gamer left a comment saying, I wonder how Madeline Kiki would feel if anyone started flirting with his three aunts because admittedly they're pretty simp worthy. Of course they'd be. And I feel like Madeline Kiki, they would be like offended, but I feel like you wouldn't judge him because Madeline Kiki would be like, oh, obviously they're the most fashionable aunties that anyone could ever ask for. So I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, Zoe, Br uh, Zoe Bain left a comment saying, which Kiki pairing is the most yin yang of them all? To me, it's Wildberry and Crunchy Chip and Madeline Espresso. If we're talking this like exact, yeah, have you ever heard of Devil Cookie and Angel Cookie? You want to talk about yin yang? That is the pure definition of a yin yang pa uh, pairing. Uh, but also, your girl Nero left a comment saying, Parfait Cookies VC is literally so good. You, you, you mean magic candy? Because what is VC voice chat? What? Uh, but Guava Marshmallow left a comment saying, I think Stardust has my favorite voice. He's so sophisticated when he says, Poo poo. <laughs> and Vitaly Dragon, but I'm not trying to just say my favorite cookies and characters every time. Okay, that's fair enough. Yes, when he says poo-poo, he is truly a sophisticated cookie. Of course, it makes so much sense. But anyway, I think... It, I think this is the earliest I've ever asked a common question of the day, because, like, we're not even eight minutes in, which is kind of shocking. I don't know, but how about this? For a common question of the day, if you want to make a character based around a certain element, what, what, would, it, what would it be based around of? And if you have any details, be sure to talk about it, because there are a good amount of elements that are actually are presented within this game. Like, think of it for a couple examples, like, you know, fire, there's water, uh, light, there's wind, there's ground, you could say poison, electricity, there's like a lot of typings that you can try and base it around of, but if you want to make one, you can go with a little, it can be more simplistic and just say, like, what typing you would base it around, but if you want to be really advanced, you could be talking about what type of cookie, or like OC or whatever, it would be based around and you know just go crazy with the ideas because i'm pretty sure y'all can be very creative with them anyway there are still a few more comments but i think we'll just reserve those for the end of the video because uh, there's a story that we need to get to and i'm very curious as to how this all of this ends your majesty will those cookies really help us hopefully we shall see if what they say is true that tower is about to be struck down everyone stand back yes your majesty you heard him! Stand back! No, uh oh, it's, uh, it's about to get zappy. Uh, the lights! <gasps> Look up at the sky! It is time! Oh, that, that's the voice! You dare build this tower to challenge me? Its foul presence is disrupting the sacred cycle of life! Why isn't this canon? Why can't I just storm into the Sublime Cake Tower with Fluffing Stormbringer and just destroy every single level? Why do I need to bring a certain team that has special typing affixed to it? No entity can take the sky from me! That's a whole cutscene. You, who plague this land and challenge the great sky god, I, Stormbringer Cookie, punish thee! Oh. It's all dead. Well, there goes, like... Uh, but, you know, I'm very glad that she was accurate with the aim. You know how bad that would have been if she just struck down a construction building and just wasted like two years worth of work? Well, these are enemies, so I really shouldn't care about them. The sheer insolence of it all! That lightning strike was powerful! Are you alright, Crows? A punishment that fits the crime! What? What does that mean? I think it's... I think it's all calmed down now. Why is she headed this way? 
Should we prepare to fight your majesty? Wait, is she coming over here? He just doesn't care. So, you must be that arrogant cookie who wishes to speak to me. I hear you disperse the thunderclouds with a swing of your sword. Ha! Well then, try blocking this. He's going to actually slash at it. <sighs> what? That came down straight from the heavens. Huh. You blocked my heaven splitter. That sword is no ordinary weapon. Wait, I sense a familiar energy radiating from it. This is the soul jam. Huh. How fascinating. You better watch out. Its powers might escape at any moment. Oh. Anyways, you wanted to talk to me. I command you to speak, Cookie. It's just, yeah, you have to be commanded to speak first. Are you aware of the dark and sinister presence that threatens the very peace of Earthbred? We plan on defeating this great evil by joining forces. Will you join our battle to ensure peace for all Cookie Kind? She's just gonna be like, no, I'd rather sleep. Huh. I'm aware of this little campaign of yours. I do spend a lot of my time observing land dweller cookies, but directly intervening in these matters is not my responsibility. Moreover, I don't see why I should care about something so. Excuse, uh huh? <sighs> oh, he's not taking no for an answer. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, cake monsters are rushing out of the cracks. Wait, what? They are Dark Enchantress Cookies Horde. Oh, I sense great evil from those abominations. It's clear that ordinary cookies cannot stop them. Hmm. A ruler should always take responsibility for their actions. Very well. I shall aid you in this battle as a great leader should. Do you know, this all could have changed if the cake monsters just stopped. If they just like held off for like maybe 10 seconds, then we wouldn't have the power of a literal god on our side. But nope, they just had to bomb rush it, and now we have so much support that they could. Uh, I, I I think we just win at this point. Yeah! And just lightning spite them down. Come on, everyone, we can't just sit back and do nothing. And so it begins. Protecting Earthbred is our sworn duty. Let us join the battle. Give us your order, Your Majesty. I see that we have far more pressing matters to attend to. I shall await your answer, Stormbringer Cookie. Soldiers! All charge at the tower! Isn't the tower crumbled? Like, isn't everything inside dead? Like, are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, this was way shorter than I expect. Like, we're, we're only 13 minutes in! And I would do the gotcha video, and, and we st we actually have exactly over 10,000, like, like 10,020. Sheesh. And I can get some bonus ones, too, with 500 right here. And another 500 right here, giving us 11,000. Now, I would, I would definitely love to do the gotcha video right now. However, we're just, it's, it's, it's so short of a video. And I'm, I'm getting the hiccups now. Kill me. Ah! Anyway, I would like to do the gotcha video now. But I think that would be more dedicated for its own video. So instead, we're probably just going to do a little bit of upgrading around the kingdom. Just for our cookies and whatnot. And see what we can do from there. Because uh, we finished the whole entirety of the story. I don't think there's anything else left for us to do. And we can also get the reward of 1,000 crystals for uh, completing Stormbringer Cookie's story. Which is pretty good. So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and collect some of these. Because we nearly have all the pass rewards for this. Other than like the big stuff that costs money. Uh, but whatever. Let's also go ahead and collect this. Thank you. Gift month. There's actually two gift month things. I will take very quickly. Bam and bam. More strawberry crepe cookie stuff. Maybe I should probably work on getting their magic candy upgrade. I don't know. But since that story is done. We're just going to, like I mentioned. Focus on maybe some bonds and stuff. Maybe just try and get any sort of upgrade that we can. And yeah. Anyway. There's actually a few comments from Shafir Raganasagov. With one saying, hey Hyper Himes. If you were as rich as Madeline Kiki in the world. What would you buy? Probably would buy a lot of things for my friends. Just because I want them to be happy. Like, I'm just gonna be 100% honest about it. Oh, thank you for the crystals for Peace Beyond the Sunset. Thank you. Uh, but another comment left is, uh, I have a question. Since you're now the Royal Baker to Custer Kitty the Third, what type of big cake would you make? Uh, one with everything on it. And I'm not even joking. Just one with straight up everything because I think that's the one he would deserve. One that just has, that, that can have all the expectations that he could ever want and need. I think that just makes sense. Um, uh, also, your last comment from Shafira Aganasagov, yes, it, they actually did leave, like, three, saying, uh, if Elder Custer Kiki tried to forcefully take Custer Kiki because he needed the new heir, would you fight back or try and threaten him? Pro probably both. 
Why, why would I not do both? I'll take I'll take Custard Cookie the third back and then threaten him. Specifically, Elder Custard. Not I'm not gonna like threaten my child. Honor Are you crazy? To fight alongside and you. I'm actually gonna go ahead and upgrade you to five star real quick. Cause like, come on, you're so, you only need 14 more. Are you kidding me? Sure, why not? Uh, I do have a good amount of mileage. I spent a bit of mileage on some treasure, but and we still have a decent amount of mileage. That doesn't matter. Uh, let's go all the way this way. Madeline, where are you? There you are. Uh, just max that out. I can check on other cookies' mileage just for, like, being here. 107, 183, 38. That's surprising. Uh, I think we could just finish, like, that in 48. 109, uh, 47, 168. What about... Hmm. Friendship. 109. There's a lot. Actually, I'm gonna buy 9 for you because I think that means, uh... Th then we'll be able to promote you to four star. Actually, I see this place has hollow whales too. What does that mean? I don't know. But anyway, uh, back at I was doing with oranges and cookies. But there's. <laughs> Can you what? withstand my spice? Was that? I'm assuming that was capsaicin. I think that just makes sense. Uh, but anyway, back to this. Getting sort with the bonds over here, so I can upgrade. I can does max promote you. Cool to enough. Until dawn? There you go. There you go. Now you're fully empowered. Now. You have all the strength you could ever ask for. Finally. Hmm. I'm going to need a fancier cloak. No, I think your cloak is good enough, my friend. But there we go. Now we actually max boosted this. Now all attack and defense has been boosted for all cookies. Uh, but Linda and Geo left a few comments. One saying, Madeline Cookie's aunties remind me of May's aunties from Turning Red. I can see that. I can understand that. Uh, oh, and I could also get boosted for this too. Oh, awesome. I get multiple buffs from this. And espresso, and I can promote what? Sleep is not on my schedule. D no, my, mine either too. Uh, let's just boost you up too, because why not? We're getting a lot of buffs today. I am already the greatest wielder of coffee magic. Well, I guess I feel like you're the o well, you're definitely not the only wielder, but like you do what you do. Another attack buff right there. Uh, but okay. Uh, Linda Digio's other comment says, comment question of the day, my favorite voice in Kicker and Kingdom is Black Pearl Kiki's because I like the voice actress's uh, vocal range. She can do, she can sound maniacal, sweet, and silently menacing. Honestly, I can big, I give big respect to that. She has, she has a really good voice range and I do respect it. Uh, what else can we upgrade? Uh, Sparkly, I can upgrade two of you. Interestingly, I just want to see if I can upgrade something that can upgrade a lot of people, you know, at the same time. Strawberry crit. Oh, I can upgrade them both of you. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Well, I mean, just don't be just don't be scared of the lightning, I guess. That's my best advice to you. I'll be watching you from the dark. That sounds terrifying. But hopefully you have good intentions. How curious. Can I disassemble that? I don't know what you're talking about, but I'd rather you not, okay? I I'm assuming you're gonna talk about like my my crown or something, and no. I have big plans for your kingdom. <laughs> if there's big, if there's big as missiles, I want you out. Uh, but at least we get some buff in uh, HP and attack. Uh, but also, uh, didn't yeah. And there's still a few more comments like Luca. Uh, no, no, Kika. Sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, they'll have to come saying uh, comment question of the day. I have quite a lot of voice actors who I love, but just to highlight some: Zach Allegor as Espresso Kiki, Zeno Robinson as a Clear Kiki, and Mint Shaka Kiki, uh, Conrad Haynes as Avocado Kiki, and Justice Washington as Crunchy Chip Kiki. All of them sound lovely, and it makes me very happy whenever I hear them in other media as well. It's like an Easter egg hunt. Bonus round for Kimono Watoro as Espresso and the JP Doug, uh, the Japanese dub. That guy's in. And stars in Twisted Wonderland. I gotta love. I love every single one of their performances. That's actually really cool. I like how they do more than just kick ranked him uh, Kingdom, which obviously a lot of voice actors do that, but you know what I mean. But also, Soul Kingdom creator left a comment saying, "Did you know Crunchy Chip and Wildberry's VAs intentionally auditioned for each other's characters? They both fit their characters, but you can hear it. That's Justice Washington and Comrade Nikad. Speaking of prom season for high schoolers is coming. Which kick run ship would be prom kings or queens? Uh, I would still go with my default saying Mint Shaco and uh. Oh, I can buff this one too. I would say Mint Chaco and Coco. I feel like they would just be so adorable together. Huh. I fight for victory and victory only. Well, you're gonna fight for these buffs right now. That's what you're gonna be fighting for. Here's an upgrade straight for you. I will become House Raspberry's greatest fencer. And how about you, Cherry Blossom? I think I got a good amount of you. The wind will carry us to magical places. Perfect. And so will these levels. Don't worry. Blop. We're getting a good amount of buffs here. I'm actually very glad about that. I, I don't think that's a safe idea, I'm going to be honest. But more HP in the attack, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Anything else? Anything else? I can upgrade Coco and Tea Knight. Per perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coco. Of course you love Coco. Why wouldn't you love Coco? 
Uh, but Moto Wolf Deer left a few comments. One saying, common question. I love the voice actor for a clear and perfect royal margarine. Cocoa in a perfect mug. <sighs> what else do you need? Uh, probably a house to live under. I'll, I'll just say that. Please. Oh, there we go. Silver glory to the tea leaf knights. I could actually like five star promote you, which I think I'm gonna do just because you know you're, you're gonna be pretty powerful later on, especially with a fully enhanced magic candy. The time to keep my oath has come. Oh, and Mono's other comment says, can someone help me beat 721 in dark mode? Or 1721 in dark mode. I don't know because I haven't made it that far yet, so right now you're on your own. I don't know how else I can help. Uh, but let's just fully enhance you just because why not? Here you go, big buff. And there's only a few more comments, so we'll just get through the rest of the end of the video, I guess. Remember, every battle can become your last one. Yeah, just... As long as you don't live every day like it's your last, you should be good. Ian also Brooks left a comment saying, Milky Way has the best voice actor, prove me wrong. I think she's good, in my personal opinion. I just, I, I don't even know how else to say it. I think, I just think she's gay. Just, she's great. How else can I fully say it? Arian Funhouse left a comment saying, wow, who knew Madeline Kiki had three ants? I don't know. And I'm surprised myself. Uh, oh, I could... Yeah, I could get you to three star. I mean, Hollyberry, like, sure, they're still a three star, but Thai Dragon Royal Margarine, that's still a buff. Buttercream is sweet to any cookie. As pretty as you. Well, thank you very much. You're gonna make me blush. Oh, no. Are you sure you can handle this level of handsome? Can you stop being the Rizzler? Anyway, back to Pattaya Dragon, the, the better. Sear. Scald. Scorch. Well, everything's about to happen after I upgrade you like this. Here you go. I was born in the flames of the dragon. Is it me or is like Pattaya Dragon like bigger on this screen? I don't know why. Maybe it should be me, but then again, they are a dragon. But there we go. There's a little bit more buff for you, and hopefully, it can help us in this quest. I need to get Golden Cheese promoted badly just so I can help with all this. Like I'm not even joking. And are these even better buffs? I feel like they might be. I don't know, but with that being said, uh, the last comment I'll read comes from Luna Cupcake saying, Comic question of the day, Robbie Damon, because he also voices my favorite character from the Warrior War games, Young Cricket. By the way, the voice of Stardust Cookie. That's how good their vocal- Sheesh, they have a really good vocal range if this is the case. Oh, and I can also buff this one as well. I shall not back down. Fantastic. And this three star is definitely going to help us in the long run, too. I know this video may seem boring, but I just wanted to finish the story. If only I could get closer to you. Well, hey, you're getting closer slowly but surely. More attack and defense. Anyway, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my kick around content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, you'll see links to all of my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kick around YouTube set for absolutely free, a link to my Discord server called the Hype News Hub, a link do to my merch. Not test me. Well, I, I didn't even test you, excuse you. I'm going to put you in the seat uh a link to my plugging twitter i've already mentioned it a link to my kofi where you can donate 10 uh like one dollar a month to see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal youtube channel a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel and also whatever the heck else i have down there but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video hail the hype needs